Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna to be making a flavorful veggie soup and if you see kale on sale or you can splurge a little extra on it, go ahead and grab a bunch because we're gonna need it. One chayote, three russet potatoes, one onion, four garlic cloves, optional but not necessary, a piece of fresh ginger, three tablespoons of veggie bouillon, or your favorite stock, one teaspoon of tarragon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, one small bay leaf, one teaspoon black pepper, two tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of olive oil, and one fresh lemon. Optional, some smoked salmon. And six cups of water. Take your kale, and peel the leaf off of the stem. Take your kale stems and just chop them up. And set it to the side. Chop your kale into thin little strips and then into smaller pieces. Peel your potatoes Slice your potato in half, and then you just wanna make some chunks, just like that. And then you wanna place your potatoes into a bowl of water, just so that they don't oxidize. We want really beautiful looking potatoes in our soup. Slice your onion. Why are you putting ginger in the soup? Don't start, Cloud. <laughs> Don't start. Your friends want to know I'm here. Friends, Ming Sai taught me how to put ginger in my soup and it just tastes absolutely amazing. Personally, he taught you? No, he didn't. I watched some of his programming on PBS. So all you want to do is just cube your ginger and set all your ingredients to the side. Slice your chayote down the middle, and if you've never had chayote, it's like a squash. And one of our Views Club friends suggested that we do not eat the seed anymore, and I'm gonna listen this time. Although nothing's ever happened in all the years that we've had the seed boiled. It's never happened, <laughs> but to make you guys a bit more comfortable today and ease your mind, we're gonna remove it just like that. We're seed eaters. <laughs> Yeah, we are. So go ahead and slice into three. Babe salmon, I mean salmon. <laughs> yeah, what you guys wanna do is, you wanna take babe salmon and um, you just wanna slice it into little pieces like this. Our salmon is still with the skin. It's gonna be up to you if you want to remove it. Um, if you're using fresh salmon, you're gonna have to give it an egg wash first, but since we're using smoked salmon, it stays uh, in its form. So you just slice it however you desire. This is the best salmon I've ever had. This is the best smoked salmon that I've ever had too. Wow. So let's go ahead and set this to the side. And if for some reason you don't have smoked salmon, uh, but you do have some other type of seafood, you can use that type of seafood. Okay, so shrimp, fish, you guys get the picture. Place your burner on a medium heat, and if you're using these green pans, do not go over medium heat ever. They heat up quickly. Go ahead and add your oil. Add your butter. Once your butter melts, you're gonna lower your temperature to a medium low. Add your onions, garlic, ginger, and your bay leaf. And this is the part where you wanna add your kale stems. Is that because we're supposed to soften them up a little bit? That is correct, Cloud. You're paying attention today, honey. Just today. And we are gonna to continue to saute our ingredients for another five to six minutes. Friends, if for some reason you burn some of your onions, that means that your burner was too high. So next time, lower it a little bit more. Um, that just means that your burner produces a lot of heat. So be careful with that. We want these to be uh, softened and translucent. We don't want them to be burned because that's going to change the flavor of your soup. Or caramelized. You don't want no, no caramelization here. You're going to add your tarragon. 
your nutmeg. Give that a quick mix and that mix should not take you longer than about five seconds. You don't want to burn uh, the spices. Go ahead and add your water. Once you add your water, you're going to add your vegetable bouillon. If you have chicken bouillon, you can use that. If you like beef, you can use that too. Make it comfortable for your home. Black pepper. Add your potatoes. I know some of you are being awfully quiet in the comments right now, but everybody's thinking, was that babe salmon cloud? <laughs> <laughs> He's such a gentleman. Such a gentleman. Friends, Babe is just our beautiful neighbor. He's so sweet to us and he gifted us some smoked salmon. He spoils us girls. Yes, we're very spoiled by our neighbor. We're thankful for Babe. Add your chayote. Last but not least, your kale. This smells like a mother's hug. Those aromas are so comforting. Go ahead and combine all your ingredients. And we're gonna continue to cook on a medium low heat for 20 to 23 minutes. We just want all these flavors to fall in love with each other so that when you taste it, it is out of this world. And next, if you're using your smoked salmon, go ahead and add your salmon or whatever protein uh, that you're using. Make sure that it's, if you're using, for example, chicken, um, you would have to place it here a little bit longer. Our salmon is cooked. All we want to do is wait for our salmon to warm up with the soup. Everything's already cooked. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the lid on our pot and we're going to continue to cook for another three to four minutes. Okay, and after three to four minutes, you're going to turn your burner off and we are going to add about two to three ice cubes in here. And what that's going to do, it's going to seal the flavor. Think of an iceberg, friend. It seals a lot of flavors in there. Same with our soup. Oh, wow. <laughs> so go ahead and place the lid on this. Get your bowls ready because we're ready to serve. And boom, done. And all you wanna do is take a little round and place it into your soup. Let it infuse your soup because when you put, uh, just squeeze a little bit of lemon in here, it's gonna be too tart. So just let it be subtle. And a few cubed pieces of your avocado. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say ah. Uh... <laughs> the best soup I've ever had. And I do have a tip for you. If you wanna skip on the protein for this recipe, you can. And if you don't like seafood, you don't wanna use chicken, I'm going to tell you something, silk and tofu goes excellent with this particular soup. He's, makes me so happy. He's so good that he goes for the broth first, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes me so happy that uh, he likes his veggies. Uh, my older son does enjoy vegetables more than he used to, but this little guy has always been my vegetable lover and sugar lover, but <laughs> you got to eat these good veggies so that you can enjoy the sweets. Buen provecho, bebe. Enjoy. Thank you. You too. Thank you. You're so sweet. Anything you want to say about the soup? Anything else you want to say? Speechless. Huh? I'm speechless. You're speechless? Oh. You're so sweet. <laughs> Do you want to give the Views Club Junior a tip or something on how to enjoy their vegetables? Eat it with corn. Eat Just it go it for corn. it with some corn. <laughs> Eat it with corn. Well, friends, I think that that would taste good in here. As Bebe said, eat it with corn. Make it comfortable for your home. <laughs> All right, sounds like you're craving corn. Now I know, friends. You guys will see something corny in our future. <laughs> As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. If you take the time to make one of these recipes, make sure to tag us. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!